uh, at place. I see a lot of the middle-aged guys with, you know, 500 records. They see that 8-7 and seven record for Kyle versus some of the young Turks who are up and coming, who are undefeated. So we're testing the young Turks against the more seasoned, wily veterans. For a second there, I thought you were going to talk about male pattern baldness. But, you know, I guess we'll, oh, when I was talking about pattern? I'm <laughs> noticing a pattern? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's for a different sponsor. Yeah, right, exactly. We are underway. This fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Both of these middleweight athletes had no problem making weight. Hey, look. Ali looks stocky. He looks, yeah, you know, very stocky, just sturdy. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's thick. Yeah, thick legs. You're right. I see that. Yeah, you see, especially uh, his calves and shins look large. You know. Yes. Even that check looked like it hurt. I would not want to go kick for kick with him. No, no. <laughs> Although the back of his left calf back. looks a little lit up. You see that left calf looks a little lit up. Yeah, uh, just from the one kick. Yeah, it looks like. Trying to protect that O. Take the next step up here at Eagle FC. A lot of undefeated fighters. They'll all be meeting each other some point in the future. So many undefeated fighters at Eagle FC. And the promotion giving them the platform that they normally would not have. Great takedown. For Aliyev looking to improve and get the right leg over the left leg of Izzy, the other Izzy. Yeah, I can't go with Izzy, can I? I'll have to, re I'll have to rethink that. <laughs> yeah, I do is, not want him. On my, I don't want him coming after me. <laughs> is Iskin? Iskin. Iskin. Yeah, maybe Iskin. Maybe Iskin. Let's see the first. The first in Kyle. Aliyev's pretty easy though. Yeah, Ali has Ali has not bad. I'm going to go with Kyle for East Kondorov. Aliyev on top in a side control. Right up against the fence, too. So Iskin isn't going anywhere. Nice knees to the body there. Gives him some creativity to just keep the action going. Yeah, keep it from getting stood up. Yeah, leave, leave the ref the, off of you. Yep. Because this is the type of spot the ref will start to ag. So, like, come on, we want to see a little bit more action. Right. Here. And oh. we've seen some quick stand-ups, but ooh, almost had an arm triangle there. Almost, and he's transitioning to the back. Beautiful transition there. He, he can't get that bottom hook in, but he might just do it without the hook. Strong. Alia, just masterful performance yeah, here so far. Strong. Oh, uh, He's missing that hook on the other side. That's what's tossing him off the side there. But strong. Just yeah. able to just yeah. come up on top there. Almost got shucked off. He's, he's fishing for it. He's fishing for it. He might get this. He might get this. He needs that other hook in there. He, he's ignoring the, the, the legs, you know? And that's, that's right. a small technical detail that you got to have down. I mean, if he had that other hook in, the fight would already be over. It'd be you'd, done. Be, you'd be home. That's easy payday. Yeah, you'd be in the back eating, uh, eating a Turkish dessert by now. <laughs> a baklava or something. And now Iskandarov. With a little offense. Oh, cranking on the neck of Aliyev. 
Trying to tighten it up. Oh, he's trying to get it back. Oh, he's oh. trying to get it back. Does he have it? Does he have it? It's. I mean, for him to sit, he must be pretty confident in it. No, oh, he's slipping out. Slipped out. And now side control for Ali. Oh, was that his Hail Mary? <sighs> interesting first round. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. And this, I don't know. You know, you know what this what comes to mind is the youth mm. of Aliyev. You're seeing it as the seasoned master. You're you would be his his perfect uh, guru in there, his perfect Yoda, saying, "Here's where you, here's what you didn't do." Yeah. Right. Yeah. You just you just told Aliyev exactly what he didn't do. Yeah. He's just 23, and you know his seven fights are early fights. His seven wins, seven and zero. Oh. Yeah. Who knows what level of competition that was? I'm pretty sure that on this big stage, the big stage of Eagle, that this is one of his bigger tests. So he's, you know, like you say. Still learning, still learning. Still, still in the learning, learning curve. curve. Yep. And, and you hear some of these things, you know, position over submission. Everybody keeps saying it, but they're saying it for a reason. It's, it's it matters, you know, position first, and then the submission will come. He just tried to jump right to it. Ah. Uh, you know, he's one of those things. Your dad tell you everything when you're like five, six years old. Yeah, all right, whatever. Yeah, dad, <laughs> all right, all right. Right. Then you it's get not his an age accident that like, I was telling you about that. Man, it was true. It was real, huh? Right. Second round here in this middleweight tilt. It's been a good one so far. Kyel Iskandarov versus Imam Shafi Aliyev. Uh, it was mostly Aliyev in the first round. A little bit of windows, a couple of glimmers of hope for Iskandarov, but primarily Aliyev's to win or lose, depending on how disciplined he can get and whether he can implement a more, not just strategic, but a more um, specific game plan, yeah. a more technical game plan. Yeah, yeah Iskandarov trying to dip into his bag of tricks. So right. Spinning back kick right there. He's going to have the wily veteran tricks. Yeah, he's trying, but so far they aren't working. And Ali have just watching him for the for the first minute of this round. And right back where you want it. Right back. No sprawl um, whatsoever. No, no defense. From East Kondorov. And that's kind of the, you know. That's the 500 record, frankly. No better way to put it. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the, you know, if you want to go to the higher level, you're going to have to, you know, work the sprawl. You're going to learn the sprawl because there are monsters like Aliyev who can control you once they get you down. Yeah, because, I mean, he's passing that guard like butter. It's easy. Those are nice knees to the body. Oh yeah, this Ken's feeling them. Yeah, he, he he likes that he likes that technique. <laughs> Especially with legs like that. I mean, those are those will eat at you. <laughs> now full mount again, and with plenty of time to work some ground and pound if he so chooses. Yeah, he's just got to clear that that overhook that. As Kenderoff has clear, get some posture, land some big punches, and elbows. I, I tend to favor elbows in a position like this. Why is that? It, it doesn't give the guy as much space, and you can get a lot more damage off, and you can cut him. And usually if a guy sees his own blood, he, he starts to panic more, he starts to make more mistakes. Now all of a sudden he's turning his back. You sink in a choke. The blood helps you. You get that arm underneath his neck. Arm and head now. Looking to tighten it up. It already looks like he's Kondorov is in pain. He's grimacing. He might get it. He, it's hard to see how low he is on his neck. If, yeah, he's against the neck. Yep. Over now. He might get it. He might get that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's ready over. To tap. Yeah, it's I'm over. Asleep. Yeah. Beautiful wow. win. Wow. Yeah.
Imam Shafi Aliyev remains undefeated in a technical display. It almost looks like he listened to you and said, okay, I need to improve my technicality, like you said, position before submission. Yeah. And yeah. do this thing and right. That was it. Slow right down there. a little bit, relax a little bit. And now I move to 8 0, and Kyle Iskandarov has to go back to the drawing board. Nothing hang his head about it. It's a good scrappy fight. And he really pushed Imam. But he goes back to the drawing board. He falls to 8 8. So literally 500 now. Wow. Yeah.